session on know-how series. This video is about the implementation of full adder using static CMOS design. As we know that addition is a basic arithmetic operation and is also a speed limiting element in most of the digital circuits. Adders can be optimized either at the logic level or at the circuit level. Logic level optimization approaches rearrange the Boolean expression to construct a faster or a smaller circuit. Circuit optimization methods change the transistor sizes and topology to construct fast adders. Let us first start a discussion with the basic full adder, which considers A, B and CI, which is the carry input as the inputs. And the output of this full adder is going to be the sum and the carry output. The true table for the full adder with sum and carry output is shown here. With this sum and carry output, we are going to identify the Boolean expression and rearrange the Boolean expression. How to optimize that particular Boolean expression for implementation of this particular full adder using static CMOS design. So in the next slide, we will see how to derive the Boolean expression using KMAP technique. The KMAP technique for three input data is presented here and we can see here for the sum output, what are all the inputs that are going to cause the sum to be 1. So 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0 and triple 1 are causing the sum output to turn on as 1. So I have marked here for all those co input combinations as 1 here. And similarly, we need to find out for what input combinations my carry out is going to turn on as 1. Now, after grouping, we can write the sum expression as follows. S equal to A bar B bar CI plus A bar B CI plus A B bar CI bar plus A B CI. Similarly, we can write the carry out expression. I'm going to denote carry out as C naught. So this will be after grouping, we will be having the first one as A B plus B C I because we have only three group terms and the last term will be A into C I. So this we can rewrite as A B plus C I is the input carry into A plus B. Now let us rearrange the sum expression in terms of this carry out to implement using static CMOS design. The final sum expression in terms of carry out will be A, B, C, I plus C naught bar, which is the complement of carry out into A plus B plus C, I. So I'll just explain you how this equation is going to be equivalent to A, B, C, I plus a B bar C I bar plus A bar B C I bar plus A bar B bar C I. Once we understand that how this equation is going to be equivalent to this equation, then it is very easy to implement the full adder using static CMOS design. I will let you know what is the reason behind optimizing this particular Boolean expression which was obtained from the KMAP technique to this expression so that it is easy to implement in a static CMOS design. So first let us start with the carry out expression and find out what is C naught bar and then let us multiply that C naught bar with this so that we'll verify whether we are getting an equivalent expression of this one. So we know that C naught is going to be equivalent to AB plus CI into A plus B. So we need C naught bar why do we find out C or not complement is that whenever we implement using static CMOS design, we always use the complement expression to implement. Only then we'll be getting C naught bar. So once we get C naught bar, because always there is a rule in static CMOS design that whatever circuit that we are going to implement or whatever expression that we are going to implement, we are, have to take the complement and only that complement output will be obtained in the static CMOS design. And after that, we need to put a CMOS inverter to get this original carry out expression. 
so that is the reason behind finding out this c not complement expression first and with this expression we are going to implement the sum expression so now let us start with finding out c not bar so where c not bar is going to be a b plus c i into a plus b the whole complement so now this you can use the de morgan's law to break the equation so this will become a b bar because it is looking similar to a plus b the whole bar so now i will split it as a bar dot b bar so a b bar into c i into a plus b the whole bar and then we have again we need to split it until we get individual inputs as complement inputs so now a b the whole bar can be split as a bar plus b bar again we have a dot b the whole bar so this we can split it as c i bar plus a plus b the whole bar so now we have only this a plus b the whole bar to be split so other equations let us write as such it is a bar plus b bar dot c i bar plus a bar dot b bar so now this is going to be my c not bar expression now we will expand this c not complement equation so this will be a bar plus b bar dot c i bar plus a bar plus b bar dot a bar dot b bar now again we need to expand this we'll be getting a bar c i bar plus b bar c i bar plus a bar a bar dot b bar plus b bar dot a bar dot b bar we know that a dot a is equivalent to a or a bar dot a bar is also equivalent to a bar so this we can apply here and here also we have b bar dot b bar so after applying all those things we will be getting the expression as c not bar equal to a bar c i bar plus b bar c i bar a bar dot a bar will become a bar so it will be a bar dot b bar plus b bar dot a bar again here also we can apply a rule where a plus a is equal to a so which means here we have a bar dot b bar plus a bar dot b bar so that will be again equivalent to a bar dot b bar so my final expression for c not bar will be equivalent to a bar c i bar plus b bar c i bar plus a bar b bar we know that the sum expression was equivalent to a b c i plus c not bar into a plus b plus c i now we have found out c not bar so let us first multiply the c not bar with a plus b plus c i so c not bar into a plus b plus c i this will be equivalent to we have the expression already derived for c not bar which is a bar c i bar plus b bar c i bar plus a bar b bar into a plus b plus c i just expanding this equation we will be getting this expression with this expression we can also apply one more rule where we can everywhere see there is a combination which is relevant to a dot a bar equal to 0 so we'll just cancel out those expressions so we'll be getting a dot a bar this will get cancelled and here also we have and then b dot b bar b dot b bar c i dot c i bar c i dot c i bar so eliminating all those expression we'll be getting the final expression for c not bar into a plus b plus c i now to get the final expression of sum we need to just add a b c i with the above term then that will give us a b c i plus a b bar c i bar plus a bar b c i bar plus a bar b bar c i so hope you have now understood that this expression is going to be equivalent to a b c i plus c not bar into a plus b plus c i
now we will take these two expressions of sum and carry out to implement this full ladder using static cmos design first we will start implementing this carry out expression for static cmos design based implementation we know that first we need to understand the rules behind implementing the particular expression using static cmos design the video link is provided in the description box below for your reference so that you can understand how to implement any expression using static cmos design so we will take this carry out expression and implement using pull down network and pull up network and then whenever we implement in static cmos design the output that we are going to finally obtain is going to be c0 bar so with that c0 bar we will complete the implementation of some expression for the full ladder but again we will be getting only some complement so we need to use two extra cmos inverters to get the final carry out and some expression so whatever i have explained here we will try to understand that using the static cmos circuit diagram the rule for implementing any expression using static cmos design is very simple we will always take the given expressions in terms of complement so we assume that here we have c0 complement and this will become ab plus ci into a plus b complement and this will also become s complement and there will be a whole complement here so which means the final output that i'm going to get at this x node is going to be c0 bar and final output at this node which i'm going to get is yes bar so now i will implement for nmos network which means the pull up, pull down network i can straightly take remove the complement and use the similar equation to implement for pull down network so we can see that ab plus ci into a plus b so ci into a plus b so this should be a series connection so we can see here ci is connected in series with the parallel combination of a and b transistors because here we have a plus operation so here there is a parallel combination again there is a parallel combination with a b which is connected in series so here we can see that a b transistors are connected in series and this is in parallel with ci into a plus b so the same vice versa we will be implementing for the pull up network but you can also use the de morgan's law to find out the expression for the pull up network and then implement or exact vice versa of the pull down network can also be implemented so at this node we get the complement of the carry out expression but for a full ladder implementation we actually need a carry out expression so we use the cmos inverter to obtain the final carry out expression similarly we can continue for the sum bar expression with this c0 bar as one of the input for the sum complement expression so we just give that with two transistors one is for the pull down network and the other one for the pull up network and this c0 bar is in dot product with a plus b plus cei so this should be in series with a plus b plus cei and again we have a plus operation so therefore it should be in parallel again we have a b ci in series because it's a dot product and we can see here a b c i they are all in series the exact vice versa you can implement for the pull up network and again we'll be getting only some complement expression you use a cmos inverter to get the final sum expression for the full ladder using static cmos design so this particular design uses 28 transistors you can count the number of transistors including the cmos inverter a uh, number of transistors we need to count because only then we'll be getting the final expression for carry out and sum so this circuit in total will utilize 28 transistors and it consumes a large area and therefore we will see in the subsequent videos about the other implementation of the full ladder where we can reduce the number of transistors for the implementation of full ladder to summarize what we have seen in this video for the implementation of full ladder using static cmos design is that we have optimized the expressions for carry and sum if you have understood about the full ladder from the came up technique we would have understood that the sum expression was huge with a b c i plus a bar b c i bar plus a bar b bar c i plus a b bar c i bar so such a huge expression if you are implementing separately for sum and separately if you are implementing the carry out expression again the number of transistor count for the implementation of full ladder using static cmos design will become increased 
So therefore, we tried to optimize the Boolean expression which was obtained from the KMAP technique and that we have used the carry out expression itself to design the sum expression. So that is the major part in the implementation of full order using static CMOS design. This kind of implementation has actually helped us to reduce the number of transistors and still we can reduce the number of transistors with the other techniques that we can see in the subsequent videos. As of now, what you need to understand for the implementation of full adder using static CMOS design is first we need to optimize the boolean expression and then use the carryout expression to implement the sum expression. And then we need to understand the basic principle behind the static CMOS implementation. So that please check out the video that is shared in the description box below with which you will try to understand for whatever be the boolean expression you will be able to design the static CMOS design. Thank you all for watching this video through Electronics Insight channel 